If you look at what he did here and, and what he's done after, he's the epitome of student athlete. Now he's a man for others by being, you know, a doctor. I'm like, uh, he, he's he's a good person. Comes from a great family. His brothers are the same. You'll meet his parents. They're the nicest people in the world. You can see where he gets it from. Tremendous focus. Um, Mark made a mistake. He very rarely made the same mistake again. I mean, he just learned from his mistakes, and uh, he was very determined to do as well as he could. Yeah, but he played baseball here, which was fun, and did well, but of course his main sport was wrestling, and um, his main achievement sport was wrestling. And uh, he was just one of the guys for a while, but then in his junior year, he went to state and placed fifth, so then the pressure was on. Not just the pressure, but he wanted, I think, to be a state champ. It was all upward from there. I think uh, the light switch just went off and he decided if he worked hard enough he could, he, could, he could be a state champ and that's exactly what he did and it was a thrill to watch him compete you know being a huge wrestling fan growing up uh, it never really dawned on us that we could be relevant at the state level until, until our, our big brother Mark went out and just kind of set the, set the uh, tone and, and did it and uh, you know have been proud of him forever because of that accomplishment. You know, every sport is different, but as a competitor, I think he just chipped away at things. He had a system for everything. And so in wrestling, for example, he really uh, pieced together and thought out carefully his attacks. And he was just very systematic. It's the reason, to be honest, that he's a, he's a physician today. In a seven minute wrestling match, for example, as a competitor, he just broke those matches down and he knew exactly what it would take to win and exactly what it would take to beat certain individuals. Um, as a baseball player, football player, uh, same thing. Just dissected what it was he was trying to accomplish and, you know, to, you know, to coin a phrase, he just did his homework. As an athlete, he, uh, you know, his, his four years it was pretty, looking back on it, it was, it was pretty amazing to watch the progress. You know, freshman year, he, you know, I don't even know if he was on the freshman team or the JV team, but by the time he was a junior or senior, he, he was really a dominant um, athlete wrestler. I just remember um, match after match where he just, he dominated people. I think he lost one match that senior year and, uh, he just destroyed everyone. He, his progress over four years and how much better he got was, was unbelievable. If you look at his background here at Ignatius, one of the top students in his class, you know, he was on the yearbook staff. He, he, he just wasn't academics, he just wasn't athletics. He was well-rounded. He was a two-time state placer, he placed fourth as a junior and he won a state championship as a senior. I believe he was 35 and one as a senior, lost early in the year and just rolled at the end. To me, the most impressive is he's the Wurtz Award winner from 1985. So the students of Ignatius, the senior class, voted him the best athlete of their class. That says a lot. When I come into campus and I've been here a handful of times, um, certainly think about some of the teachers, uh, Mr. Pasco up on the sixth floor without air conditioning and Father Ober and some of the teachers that were so instrumental in sort of shaping my future life and career. Um, anytime I step on campus, I can't help but think back on those good times. Mm -hmm.